Hello everyone and welcome to uh, this craft fairy video clip with me Yvonne Randall and today we're going to be concentrating on this project which is how to make a bow using grow grain ribbon in this case 23 millimeter animal print and 9 millimeter oops if I get it in camera to show you get it in shot 9 millimeter grow grain in a lovely color called ermine because I thought you'd pick that out and it wasn't quite as um, harsh as black might have been because there's black in there as well you know you, you just pick out a color that complements the ribbon that you're using and um, the only other things we're going to need is a ruler a scissors to cut out the ribbon and a needle and thread sorry girls no gluing. I did try and glue these but to be honest with you I really didn't like gluing. I'm not much uh, at gluing at all. Right okay now then this bow measures five and a half centimetres and so to get five and a half centimetres I've started off with a piece 13 centimetres long. That's because when I fold it over I'm going to have an overlap and you have to think about the overlap when you decide how big your bow is going to be. So there's my five and a half. So you can see my overlap is approximately that much. So it's about a centimetre and a half where I overlap. But what I do is I make sure that when I fold it over, I actually measure it because if you don't every one of your bows is going to be different. Now the next thing I do is I can see where the three centimetre mark sorry I don't want the three centimetre mark I can see where just under the three centimetre mark is and this is where I'm going to have the centre of my bow. Now I've given myself a really good knot on the end of this no namby pamby knots here because and anyway no, no one's going to see it it's going to be hidden. Um, you need a good knot because you're going to pull on this. Now, go in from the front, take a small piece, go in there, and then do another stitch there. Okay, you can see that? And then come out the other side, and basically your sewing for this part is just about over. Then you pull. which then gathers your bow in the centre. Okay, not quite there yet. And then if you pull a bit more and then you go around and around several times, which then holds your bow in place. Okay, then we're gonna to go to the back. And what I like to do now is put a closing knot in the back. As I said, nobody's going to see this, so you don't have to worry about it being all beautifully neat and tidy because people tend to be a bit afraid of sewing because they always think that um, everyone's going to come up behind them and inspect it. Okay, nobody is, I can tell you. Right, now you've done that. Then you take your piece of contrasting uh, ribbon. And what I found is the easiest in the end with this is to lay it there like that. Oh, and one thing you have to remember, make sure that your join part is at the back. You don't want to see it at the front. Lay that there like that and then I put a stitch in this to hold it in place. Making sure that your thread can see that thread is around the front, right? Making sure it's at the back. Okay, so you've got this held in place. Now turn it around, bring this over, fold it over, and put it into place. Let's fold that properly again. And some people glue these, but to be honest, I tried gluing and my, my gluing was a mess. So the professional ones tend, the good ones, tend to be sewn. Right, now all you need to do now is close this off with a few stitches. 
not all that many. Get it all into place. And then a closing knot again. You know the sort of thing, you must remember these. Okay, now I've done that, I've closed it, and then go through the back so that you haven't got your little bit of thread hanging out. And take your scissors and cut it there, turn it over, and your bow's made. <laughs>